Demo 4.7 Create Purchase Requisition In this demo, we will create a purchase requisition. We can use the SAP Easy Access menu to navigate to the transaction to create a requisition, or we can enter the transaction code ME51N in the command field to directly access the transaction. In this demo, we will use the SAP Easy Access menu. First, expand the Logistics menu by clicking on the triangle next to the label. In the Logistics menu, expand the Materials Management menu. In the Materials Management menu, expand the Purchasing menu. In the Purchasing menu, expand the Purchase Requisition menu. Finally, in the Purchase Requisition menu, select the ME51N Create Transaction. The system displays the form to create a purchase requisition. This is the transaction screen for ME51N. To begin creating a purchase requisition, click in the Material field. In the Material field, enter the material number, if known or click on the search icon next to the material field to search for a material number. The system displays a search form in which to specify search criteria. Use the wildcard character star when searching. Enter the search criteria and click enter. In this demo, we will search for shirts by entering SHRT star in the material field to find all materials numbers beginning with the letters SHRT. The system displays a list of materials that meet the search criteria. In our demo, it is a list of materials that begin with SHRT. Select the desired material number and click Enter. In this demo, we will select SHRT 1000. The system copies the selected material number into the material field in the purchase requisition. Next, specify the plant where the products are to be delivered. Enter the plant code, if known, or search for it. To search, use the search icon next to the plant field. In this demo, we will search for the plant code. The system displays a list of plants. Double-click on the desired plant code to select it. In this demo, we will select the Miami plant, MI00. The system copies the plant code into the plant field in the purchase requisition. Next, specify the date when the materials are needed, delivery date field. Enter the date in the delivery date field or select a date from a calendar. To display a calendar, click on the search icon next to the delivery date field. The system displays a calendar. Double-click on the desired date to select it. Alternatively, select the date and click Enter. In this demo, we will choose June 22nd as the delivery date. Next, specify the quantity needed. To do this, click on the Quantity field and click in the desired quantity. In our demo, we will specify a quantity of 500. The minimum data needed to create a purchase requisition have now been provided. To make certain that the necessary data have been correctly entered, click on the Enter or on the check mark icon on the top menu. In addition to validating the provided data, the system automatically retrieves additional data from various master data in the system, such as the material master. Examples of such data are the short text, description, unit of measure, material group, and purchasing group. In this demo, the system is providing a warning message at the bottom left. Specifically, it is asking us to verify that the specified delivery date can be met.
Details of the line item in the purchase requisition are provided in the bottom part of the screen. These data are grouped into different tabs, for example, material data and quantities and dates. The material data tab is the default tab selected. It displays the short text description of the material, the unit of measure, the material group, and the purchasing group. Click on the quantities and dates tab to review the data in this tab. The Quantities and Dates tab displays the quantity of materials requested in the requisition, the quantity ordered in a subsequent purchase order, the quantity yet to be ordered, open quantity, and the dates associated with the request, delivery, and release of the order. In our demo, 500 t-shirts are requested, none have been ordered, and 500 have yet to be ordered. Click on the Valuation tab to review data in this tab. The Valuation tab displays the valuation price of each unit of the material and the total value for that material. In our example, each shirt is expected to cost $15, so the total value of the order is expected to be $7,500. Next, click on the Source of Supply tab to review data in this tab. The Source of Supply tab displays data related to vendors who could potentially provide the needed material. A variety of data in the system, such as purchasing agreements and info records, can be used to identify a suitable vendor. Refer to the text for an explanation of these data. Further, clicking the Assign Source of Supply button prompts the system to recommend a vendor based on data and rules contained in the system. Next, click the Status tab to review data in this tab. The Status tab displays the status of the request for the material. Specifically, the PROC status field indicates the procurement status for the material, and the ORD QTY field indicates how many have been ordered. We review the various procurement statuses next. Click on the triangle in the PROC status field to display available statuses. Note that these statuses cannot be selected by the user. Rather, the appropriate status is automatically selected by the system as the process is executed. After all of the necessary data have been input and verified, the purchase requisition can be created and saved. Click on the Save icon to create the purchase requisition. After a requisition is created, the system displays a confirmation along with the purchase requisition number. It is advisable to record this document number for future reference. However, document numbers can always be retrieved from the system. Demo 4.7 Create Purchase Requisition